So here's an update that I came across of an extremely popular video I covered a couple days ago, which was titled, Wife Thought She Had the Perfect Condal, Husband Received Pictures, etc., etc. And if you recall, guys, that's about the guy who just got married. He's been married for like a week and found proof that was provided by someone that his wife had been having an affair for like two years or longer when they were together, when they were engaged, when he proposed, all that. All her friends knew about that, etc., etc. And after a lot of back and forth, he decides he's going to contact his, his attorney, get an annulment, etc., etc. And this is going to be an update through question, Q and A's that were in the comments section about the situation, which unfolds a little bit more what was going on behind the scenes, what he's doing, etc., etc., which I thought you guys would like. Now, this is a little bit longer than I normally would for the clips, but I figured you'd want to hear all the information that I had, so here we go. And it starts off, one guy says to him in the comments, a fake story. Sorry to be rude, but how did you find out that they had SEX on the day of your proposal? And he says, I mentioned this in another comment, but I got in contact with her ex, the guy she was cheating on me with. He told me that the last time he saw and spoke with her was when they went, went to lunch and then back to his house for SEX before sending her an, an Uber home. He showed me a screenshot of his Uber receipts and it had his address going to mine. Now the guy asked the question, how did you figure this out and did the friend tell you? He says, uh, her ex told me that when I got in contact with him, I wanted the most de detailed details that he could share and he did it. I told him that I have no issue with him. He had no clue that I existed. He said that he had a weird feeling because he saw a picture of her wearing an engagement ring, but she said it was on her right hand and the image was flipped. So her lover had no idea that this guy existed. Shocker. Uh, guy said, another guy says, lawyer first, then psychologist, because you'll never trust anyone else. He says, I go to therapy every Wednesday. It's going to be an unexpected, unexpectedly shitty one, so I plan on texting him tomorrow for the heads up. Besides, that, on, that I'm honestly just trying not to drink alcohol and stay in the right state of mind. Yeah, him getting trashed is probably a bad idea at this point. Another guy asks a question. He says, looking back, are you kicking yourself that you missed some signs that she was cheating in those two years? And he says, that I missed the signs. But then again, her friends that I also know covered for her, I never would have guessed or challenged her. He goes, bro, forget couples. Th uh, uh. So anyhow, he, um, her friends, like he said in the thing, they were all in on it. They all knew about it and they were covering for her. And a lot of guys think, oh, my girl's friends love me. They're so cool with me. But they end up knowing what their guy's girlfriend's doing. Now the guy says, uh, bro, forget couples therapy. She's been lying to you for two years. She had the audacity to marry you knowing she's been effing someone else. And she was never going to tell you either. You found out complete by accident. Their relationship is over. Find a lawyer and start the divorce proceedings. Then when it's all said and done, complete no contact with this woman. A freaking man. Now, initially he was thinking about couples therapy, which I smacked the hell out of him for in the video, as did you guys in the comment section. But uh, he, didn't, he eventually did not go down that route. He consulted an attorney. And he says, I was foolish to even consider couples counseling since she already opposed to normal therapy. From being the happiest man in the world, about to wrap up this last week of work, before leaving for our honeymoon on 421, to being alone. Just like that, it's done. So much of a financial and emotional investment in her when she couldn't even be upfront and honest with me. I could have forgiven her if she admitted it. Smack. No, there's no forgiving a gal that was in a relationship cheating on you for two years prior to you, you get married, etc., etc. No way. But she just continued to gaslight me and made me look like the bad and crazy one. Well, of course she did. <clears throat> when she ran out of cards, she caved and admitted her mistakes. It just really sucks, dude. I know that I'm ranting, but I have no effing idea how I'm going to work up the courage to tell any relative or friend or family right now. We had a des destination wedding too, and they flew out for it. Just to hear that that was last week, F-U-C-K. So yeah, I mean, you can't blame this guy for being humiliated, not want to tell family and friends because he, he looks and feels like a fool. But at the end of the day, it'd be even worse if he stayed with her, you know? And I, I'm willing to bet you there's some friends and family are more understanding than he realized. Now the guy says, get a lawyer now. Seriously, though, you need to be protect, proactive about this. Make sure even if you stay together, big mistake, that you'll be the one serving the papers first. You need to blindside her. If you want any chance of winning this, get all your eggs in the basket ASAP. Thank God you don't have children. And he says here, I started the process of getting a lawyer and got screenshots from her ex. I think that I'm numb at this point after reading so much of the text and seeing pictures of them together. There's no chance that she could have ever loved me with the way she spoke to him. No, as I suspected in the... Uh, 
in the other video, I said that she obviously settled for him. He was the nice guy that she could uh, settle down with, resources and all that, but she had her lovers on the side. That's sadly how these things usually work. He says, update. I had a talk with her when she got home. She just swore up and down they were lying, and when I provided proof in the pictures, she just started crying hard and said that she has to leave, and I didn't stop her. So she denied it and denied it until he had actual proof. These gals could get uh, Oscars for their performances every time. Now the guy says here, this jumps around. He goes, get a divorce attorney. They'll be able to help and answer any questions for better or for worse for most of us than compared to us on Reddit. But just so we're clear, there's no salvaging this. She spent two years cheating on you and not just SEX, having a full relationship with someone else. There's no saving this, nor should you want to. There's something very wrong with this woman. And he says, honestly, that is what sucked the most. It's not like it was a one-time fling. She went on vacation with him, had you-know-what with him, and who knows what else. She never wanted to go out with me on weekends and always with her girlfriends. Now I see what she was really doing. You're very right, though. I know that leaving is my only option. It can't be saved. Exactly. And notice he says she never wanted to go out with him on the weekends. It was always her girlfriend, she claimed. What does that say? You always pay attention to actions. And... uh <clears throat> Now the guy says here, nah, this doesn't need couples therapy. This was dishonesty and betrayal its finest. While you guys are pretty much tying the knot, it sucks that you had to find out this just the way you did after you got married and are preparing for the rest of your lives together. But I couldn't see myself marrying someone who kept all that from me just to marry me first. That's real scum of the earth there. She has the scum of the earth. I don't know how much you would lose in the divorce, but I recommend gathering as much evidence as possible. Timestamps, people who can collaborate, co corroborate this, Get, get her out of there, my guy. Yeah, he if he takes a hit, he takes a hit, but it's better than being married to her for life. And at least he found out now. Again, he talked about the annulment. I hope he goes down that route. And hopefully because they're not together that long, you know. He says, thanks for your reply and time. The worst part is going through my mind and thinking of all the weird days and what she was really doing. It's the engagement night that stings me the most. She knew that I was going to propose soon. But uh, didn't know the day, and it happened like one hour after they had the SEX. She didn't even shower or anything after they did it. I need to get tested too. I feel like my life is in ruins. So that is, the, that is it for all his updates and answering questions and all that, which I figure you guys want to hear about. But again, this poor bastard. I mean, he, he, nobody deserves this. And But at least, as horrible as this is, he found this out right away. I mean, it would have been nice if he found out prior to saying I do, but he found out now, hopefully the annulment, he's going to be okay. But it's going to take him a long time to recuperate from this in any way, shape, or form. And he said he felt numb, which happens a lot to a lot of guys. He's just, they're just so numb from all this BS going on. But... All I can say is this, take it one day at a time, get a good attorney, listen to listen to your attorney, and go from there. And be very careful who you're involved with in the future if he gets involved with anybody else. But something tells me he will. Really do your homework, trust your gut, don't accept bullshit. Don't, when things seem off, question it, uh, investigate, etc., etc. And I wish this guy the best.